All right, so the iNews team has made it here to one of my favorite locations. It's the Toronto Evergreen Brickworks, and I'm here at the Festival of Music, of Art and Music, uh, with a couple of the founders and organizers here. Uh, we've got Aaron from, from Foam, and uh, so do you want to tell us what we're about to walk into here? Um, you're just about to walk into um, a lot of fun. Okay. A lot of fun. Well, we're going to go on a little <laughs> mini tour here, um, but we also, uh, we also have Paul here from uh, Motion Ball, and do uh, you want to tell us a bit about your initiative and your charity? Sure. So Motion Ball is all about getting that next generation involved, the young professional within Canada with Special Olympics. So we're trying, people are running busy lives. We want them to lead a balanced lifestyle, bring fun back into to giving. We're running 14 events across seven cities. Had the ability to partner with Aaron with Detour. We came up with Foam and we're gonna have an incredible night tonight. Okay. So let's go on a little tour. We're gonna to enter the venue because it's a very unique place to be. Um, now, can you tell us a bit about pulling this together and uh, targeting a younger demo and bringing the arts and music together? Um, I mean, pulling it together wasn't really that hard. There's a lot of undiscovered talent in Toronto, as I'm sure a lot of people know. Um, we really wanted to provide the platform to do so, and Brickworks gave us the perfect opportunity where it was a raw space and we could really make it our own. I'm just going to pop into the Molson booth because you can't avoid like... That's the art I kind of like. <laughs> So we are big sponsors. Okay, so we have Molson Liquid Art here, a couple of the girls, and uh, I guess I want to ask you both, bringing in sponsors for charity, how do you go about uh, bridging those relationships? So for us with Motion Ball, our, our success absolutely relies upon corporate support. So we've had Molson as a sponsor since day one with us. They've been incredible. And they buy into these different kinds of events, not just the club night, this is something very different that they're excited about supporting. So they have the whole uh, liquid art campaign right now and targeting, I guess, a more arts, uh, young art, artistic uh, demographic, you would call it? Yeah, I mean, I would say that it's uh, not only a young artistic demographic, but we have a lot of professionals that come out to these events as well. And they really want to be part of these events to support the young and up and coming artists and musicians. Let's keep walking. This place is fantastic. When you guys first saw this venue, what, what was your reaction? I called Aaron, I'm like, dude, we gotta run an event here. Right. It's just so different, it's so raw, it's so industrial, so, and it, needs, it needed to have a party. Okay, so some of the concept is music, art and music. So you wanna talk a bit about the music component? And just for the record, the party hasn't started yet, we're getting things warmed up. It's the only time we could get these two guys uh, but let's talk a bit about the music component of tonight. Okay, so for the music tonight, um, we really want to bring in some interesting uh, DJ talent. We really didn't have the opportunity this year to do a full day event, which is what we want to plan on doing next year. So we brought in DJ MOS um, from New York City. He's known at Lavo, uh, also plays at Live Miami. We brought Crash Dex, a Toronto favorite, and they mix um, a drum set and live, live music with the DJ component. Uh, we also brought in Tom Rex. He's uh, one of my favorites. He's a resident at a lot of my spots. Um, and of course, Soundboy, another another resident and up and comer. So I'm seeing another creative touch to this event. If you want to take a look at the VIP uh, booth here, if, the, I'm sure the, the bottle service is, this is set up for bottle service, right? This was to guarantee that Paris Hilton wouldn't come. <laughs> But yeah, again, we wanted to fit with this space. We've, we've talked to a lot of the local suppliers and traders who provided us this, this items. You look at the bars, they've been made by uh, Detour and the, and the local artists. That's what, it, that's what it's all about. It fits in with the whole foam name. So let's, uh, let's keep going. This venue just doesn't stop. Uh, we got more artwork hanging behind the bar. You want to tell us a bit about what that, where that came from? Well, I mean, the whole theme of the party um, is construction deconstruction. Uh, we want to use reusable materials and show that we can throw a cool event really by not spending any money and using recycled materials. Um, so the, the back bar installation is meant to be um, a vague map of, of Canada actually. So you start from, from BC and it goes all the way over to Nova Scotia, actually my favorite where I'm from. Um, and it, it's very abstract and it's meant for people just to, to look at and, and kind of uh, just, just be inspired by it, really not think much about it or think too much. And we wanted the art to be part of the overall landscape of the party, 
rather than doing a your typical um, gallery where you stand and there's no vibe and you look and you, and then you kind of move on, we want the art to be a part of the vibe, part of the energy, part of the room. You gotta tie it with the liquid art. That's right. <laughs> At the end of the night, that will look actually like Canada. Is that what Moses said? They're like, we'll sponsor you and let, you know. Moses oh. probably like, you're telling me like this right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it, just as Aaron said, not many venues you get to go, you got the music, you got the atmosphere, you got the crowd. This adds a, a fifth element, that being the art. And it, it all, all blends together. Okay. We're not done yet. There's more art in the back. We're going to keep walking here. And we should probably go this way because I have a couple different other installation pieces over okay. here. Let's go this way because there's a couple more installations on the wall yeah, here. On the wall, yeah, what are we looking at on the wall here? Um, right now it's just a, an abstract installation that one of the artists uh, put together. Um, they're not here to give the, their description of it. Um, it's kind of just interpretive. Yeah, definitely. But again, it's all found objects, you know, reused materials, repurposed materials. You got a few pieces here on the wall I'm seeing. Um, I also want to ask you, okay, I also want to talk a bit about how you go about engaging a younger demo to get involved in charities. What are the initial steps in creating that conversation? Our slogan is bring fun back into giving. And it's all about, too many people think charity work is about cutting a big check. And the young professional is not ready to do that. So we believe you can have fun while you're supporting a great cause. This is a perfect example. And we're, we're running 14 events across Canada that had that slogan in mind. Let's have some fun. Let's support a great cause. Let's meet some good people. Let's network. Nothing wrong with that. And let's cut a big check at the end. Okay. I think we only got a couple more things. I'm going to let the camera take you on a guide a little rest of the tour. I know there's a couple pieces back here. But um, stick around. We've got more foam, the festival of arts and music. And uh, well, just like you said, Paul, we're here to have fun. Absolutely. And uh, stick around. Contact your local television provider to subscribe to iChannel.